In this video, I will provide you with the difference between a step and a landing. And to some of you, this might be obvious, but to others, it isn't. And I get it. You might come across a stairway in your area or on the Internet that might have different size steps or landings. However, they might not meet your local building codes. So let's go ahead and talk about what the building codes might suggest in your area. And you would have to check with them to verify the information in this video because different areas have different building codes. And according to most building codes in a flight of stairs, the depth of the stair tread should be the same measurement. However, it can vary from the smallest measurement to the largest measurement this would be a maximum variation of three eighths of an inch. And an example of that would be if the smallest measurement for each one of the stair steps in a flight of stairs is 11 inches. However, I have one that is 11 and three eighths of an inch, then this might be acceptable to your building inspector. However, something like this probably won't be. And this is what I seem to run into every once in a while on the Internet when looking for creative stair designs that would be approved by most building departments. So again, in a flight of stairs, we can't have more than a three eighths of an inch variation maximum unless it's a landing and a landing, according to the International Building Code book, should have the same depth as the width or at the very least 36 inches for a residential stairway or 44 inches for a stairway with over 50 occupants in the building. And if you do have a situation like this, it should be approved by your local building department. And here's another example that should be approved by most building departments also. And another one that should be okay would be if you had a step between landings. Again, these are not steps. These are landings that meet the minimum building code requirements for a landing. Now let's go ahead and throw a monkey wrench into this one here. This is not a landing. It does not meet the minimum building code requirements for a landing. However, this is something that might be approved by your local building department because in my opinion, this stairway seems safe. Another one that might not be approved However, you could make the bottom a little bit wider and turn these into circular steps. And I'll give you an idea of that in the next few examples. And of course, another example of something that might be considered a landing by a lot of builders and designers. However, this might not be a landing or a step. It does not have the minimum measurement at this point here. And that would look something like this. According to most building codes, we need a minimum of six inches here. And if we put the six inches here and this does not meet the minimum measurements for a landing, then I've got some good news for you because now this becomes a step. And this would be another stairway that should be approved by your local building department. And believe it or not, this is the reason why I made the video, because one of our viewers was having a difficult time figuring out why this isn't a landing. I would imagine most builders would even refer to this as a landing and not a step. And again, this is not a landing because it does not have the same depth as the width. This right here should be the same length or the same measurement as the width of the stairway or at the very least meet the minimum depth required, which should be 36 inches for residential stairs, 44 inches for other types of stairs.